Right, now let's today have a look at manufacturing or cost accounting as we talk about it. What is the difference between this and previous exercise you've been doing? Up to now we've always bought all our goods, so we've had a trading stock account. So you know what the cost of the goods is because it's what they, get, they charge you. Under a manufacturing organization, they actually make the goods. And the important thing to realize is that we've got three cost components. First of all, there's your raw materials that are required. So if we were, for example, going to make t-shirts, we would need material, we'd need cotton, we might need labels, and so on, that have to be put onto these t-shirts. That would all consist of the raw materials or the direct materials. Direct because they're directly involved in your goods. Secondly, there's got to be labor. People that are working on machines that are sewing up these t-shirts in order to showing up the pieces to make the t-shirts and then the third component is what we call our factory overheads these are our overheads extra costs so for example you need rent you need electricity these are costs that are essential for this business to run but they're not directly involved and these are what we refer to as our indirect costs but they are just as essential and so under manufacturing costs component, we've got to be able to work out what the cost of our raw materials is, what our cost of our labor is, and what our cost of our factory overheads. And those three together will make up the total cost of production for making of these t-shirts. And once they're then made, you'll then put your markup on and you will then sell those t-shirts. So in grade 10, you're largely going to be working with figures, calculating the cost of, the, of these three things and then adding them together to get the total cost and dividing by the number of units made to get a unit cost. The other things that you will have to work with is what we refer to as fixed costs and variable costs. Fixed and variable. Now a fixed cost is something as it says, it's fixed. It's irrespective of how many units you make. So whether you make one unit, 10 units, or 100 units, the cost will be exactly the same. For example, your, your rent. If you're renting something for 10,000 Rand a month, it'll make no difference what you make in that. Your rent is still fixed at that amount. Whereas your variable costs will differ in direct proportion, and this word is very important, in direct proportion to the number produced. So the more you produce, the more your variable costs will be. So if we have to go back to here, our raw materials would be a variable because every t-shirt would have its own material. The labor would be a, a, a variable because every t-shirt has to be sewn. And the, if, the, if you have to increase the number of items produced, your variable costs are going to increase. Whereas your factory overheads would be examples of fixed costs. They will stay the same irrespective of how much you produce. So in grade 10, you've just got to get used to these different concepts and start working out different calculations so that you can then add on to this in grade 11 and 12.